What's going on guys? Dizzle is back with another tutorial for you guys. And we're going to be working on what Dizzle was calling his uh, workshop that we did over here in our starter camp. Uh, if you haven't seen that uh, video, I will link that below. That is basically this structure right here. With the uh, fire pit. So if you wanted to put both of these together, you can. Uh, I'm going to show you how to basically put the foundation on. And then as far as the, uh, the boxes, the planter boxes and what you plan or how you decorate around it's entirely up to you but as far as the structure goes I will show you basically uh, how that's all put together and again how you decorate on the inside uh, leave that up to you guys but we, we will go over the uh, fireplace as well okay so I'm gonna go get set up I have a little area over here cleared out uh, pretty close to right here is a nice nice flat land and uh, we'll start the, the tutorial for you all right let's get started guys we're gonna go into uh walls and we're going to grab umber wall and hopefully we have enough room if not I might have to destroy some stuff but it should be pretty flat here so we're going to put one down and then from here guys we're going to put some markers down and we'll get rid of these later and you're going to grab rustic thin floor number four and then rustic thin floor number two and this will let us know for sure uh, how wide it's going to be. We'll get rid of those later. Okay. So we'll come back. Actually, you can put a, another umber wall on the other side. I'm going to put my torch on so you guys can see. It's a, uh, the trees are actually in the way of the light a little bit. Then we're going to grab, go into walls. We're going to grab uh, log wall number one. One on each side. We're going to go down to windows. Window number one. Put one on each side. Then we're going to grab a log corner. And the walls. Put one on each side. I'm going to wait for this storm to pass, guys, and then we'll start up again where we left off. All right, we're back, guys. So you're going to go back into walls. You're going to put log wall number one, one on each side. On the corner, right off the corner piece there. Then we're going to put log window. Log window number one. Put one on each side. Then we're going to grab log wall number one, one on each side. And umber wall, again, one on each side. And we're going to do log wall number five. There. There. And a corner piece. Log corner. There. That was wrong. So is that one. Make sure your flat sides are facing in. We're going to do a log window number four. Do one on each side. 
And that's where your fire fireplace will go right in here, okay? We'll build that out. All right, let's work on these corners, get the back wall somewhat complete. Well, it's, it'll be complete without the fire fire pit. So let's go, let's go on the roofs. You can do partially of the roof now. So let's grab your uh, rustic gable right. Snap to that. Grab your rustic gable left. Snap to that. Then you're going to put your... Go into walls. We're going to grab... Log half wall number two. Go ahead and snap to that. I need a... I don't know if it's in walls. No, it's in roofs. Go into roofs. And we're going to grab rustic roof wall. I believe that's interior. Turn it. There you go. So it's facing, the flat side's facing uh, the inside. So it should look like that, okay? All right, let's work in front with the roof. Go, all the way, go in the roofs and you're going to go all the way down the bottom. Let's grab rustic hip. Snap to the corner there. Snap to the corner there. And you scroll up. Looking for number five. And I believe that's a number two. Do the same on the other side. Five. Come on. Number two. And then this is going to be your number one on each side. Let's finish off the top part of the roof. I'm going to build a ladder, guys. Or a ladder. <laughs> the stairs. We use the hip again. Snap to it. This is going to be a number four. And a number two. Okay, and now that'll cover up that part that we're building right there. Some stairs on this side. Hip. Number four. Number two. And we're going to fill, not the bottom part, just the top part right there. That's going to be a number five. All right, guys, let's work on this piece right here in front now. Let's get rid of these markers. We're going to go back in. We're going to grab umber, umber wall. We're going to come off of this now. Okay. So snap right to it. We're going to come one. One on each side. And then you're going to put two coming out. Off that one that we just put. Two on each side. Should look like that. And then now we're going to come off three this way, not two, okay? So in total, we should have five of these in a row. Okay? Should look like this. We'll go up on these stairs. Okay. Up top, we're going to grab one of the floors. Uh, Suji floor number two. And once you get the first one on, you can snap the other two. And three of these should fit all the way across, okay? It should be flush. And the back side... See, I use Suji Thin Floor. Yeah, two of those. And that looks like a two. So that was number four, Suji Thin Floor. And I believe it's going to be a number two. Nope, I'm sorry. Number two there, yeah. I'm going to try and work through the rain. Hopefully it doesn't uh, 
Lightning Storm. Okay. Go in the walls. Now we're going to go umper half wall. You're going to put it on the corner and you're going to back, you're going to nudge it out just one. So it's not a full square. It's just a half a square. You should be able to see it there, right there. And then we're going to put three more after that. So you should have, in total, you should have four of those. You won't be able to put the fifth one. So again, line it up on the corner. Nudge it back one. One, two, three, and four. Okay. I'm going to hop down. Grab some stairs. Okay, now we're going to grab the fences. We're going to come grab rustic railing number one. Put it so it's flush and then nudge it in once. Put it so it's flush on that uh, umber half wall. Nudge it in once. And grab umber half wall again. Nudge it in once. Put it, and then you, you should be able to snap right there. It's already snapping on its own. So it should look like this, okay? Uh, go into floors. I think that's right, that piece right there, but let's go into floors anyways. I'll show you which one it is. Uh, Suji thin floor number two. And this one, if it if it's nudged in, you're going to want to nudge it out. You want it so it's flush with the umber half, uh, umber wall, umber half wall, okay? And go back. If it's in your favorites, rustic railing number one. And you're going to put another one on top. Okay, let me put my torch away, see if you can see it better. Now it's, it's, it's again, the, the overcast, but it should look like this. Okay. You're giving yourself the, the, the embossed look. If that's the right word to use. Okay, I'm gonna hop up, oh, hop up back on my stairs. I'm gonna grab Suji Thin Floor number two again. Same thing, we're gonna make sure it's flush. The first one in, and go one, and now you should snap. Two, three, okay? And then Suji Thin Floor number two, you're gonna snap it right to the end of the, the Suji Floor number two that we just put in. So this is uh, Suji Thin Floor number two that we just did. Put one on each side. Okay. And now we can grab Suji Thin Floor number four. Snap to that. If you can. If not, nudge it. One. If it doesn't snap to that, it's easier if it snaps to... Uh, it should go in. That was Suji Thin Floor number two. There it goes. All right, guys, we have to take out this number five here. This is why that piece is not going in. Uh, I want to say number two. So two number twos. Number one. Now let's test my theory. There you go. It fits. Okay. We're going to put... We're going to go about it back into uh, walls. We're going to go down and grab umber half wall again. We're going to put one here. One here. And then we're going to go all the way across. We're going to go into fences. We're going to grab rustic railing number three. Again, we're going to bump it in just a little bit, right? So it looks like that on the inside. Actually, let's grab rustic railing number two. So that's what we know. That way I know where we're going to end. Same thing again. You're going to look like that. And then you can grab, go back and grab your umber half ball. This lets me know for sure we're, we're okay. This, this should be four pieces here for uh, connectors. We should have the same on each side as well as and then I know where to put the floor. 
So why don't I go ahead and do that now? So let's go into floors. Actually, I'm going to take this out so we can do the floor. And we'll put it back in. I just wanted to make sure we got this lined up right, guys. Uh, let's see. Floors. Uh, Suji floor number two. Okay, so it should be flat like this. And then let's see. Yep. That's a Suji thin floor number four. You should be able to put two of those. Okay. And then now if you want to center, I have a fire pit in mine, guys. Okay. That's what's giving the light in there. I could put my torch away a little bit. Yeah. And then we can put rustic railing number two back in there. And then put one on this side. I think we're going to need another one. We may or may not. We might take this out, guys. I think we need to take it out because I think it, the fire place comes right up against that right there. And then an umber half wall. And come back and grab Suji Thin Floor number two. Let me put the torch back on. Okay, so it should look like that. It should be flush with the umber half wall, but the umber railing bumped in. And you're going to put another rustic railing number two. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Suji thin floor number two. And then a railing on top of that. Nudge it in once. And over here, you grab Suji thin floor number four. Again, make sure it's flush. You see how it's flush with the umber half wall. And then you can grab rustic railing number three. I can see it's already nudged in. Okay. So it should look like this. And you're going to come into building parts, go to roofs. Let's go grab the uh, the gable. There's the right gable snapped to the umber half wall. Grab the left gable. And let's go to roofs. I believe this is going to be two number twos. Or a two and a three. Let me see a three. Yeah. So rustic roof number two against the gable. And then number three. Oh, snap. Oh, <laughs> it went up top. There we go. All right, then we can put the ridge on. Not a five. Let's go four. And then two. Yep. Okay. All right, guys. Let's work on the uh, fireplace now. You're going to go grab ancient corner number one. So you're going to go into walls. I already have one of my favorites, but go into walls. Grab ancient corner number one. And put one up against the wall there and one on each side. Okay. Then we're going to go up actually two more times. So a total of three. Okay, then you're going to come off with umber. Snap to that. Go up three. Or two or two after that, but a total of three. Same thing on this side. One. Two. Three. Okay. Then you're going to go on the inside with ancient corner number one again. And you're going to go up three as well. One. Two. 
three. Go on the inside of the umber. Go up three. Three in total. Okay. And then from here, it's entirely up to you. Let's get this in first, then I'll come back. Let's grab go in the walls and then come down and grab this is uh number five, ancient slanted wall number five. And that's gonna go right up against the ancient corner. So it's gonna look like that, okay? The reason why I'm using if you don't like this, I'll show you an alternative. But if if the reason why I, I use that piece is because of the indentation that it gives in the inside. So if you don't care about the back, then that's why I'm using that. But if you do, I'll show you what you could use later. And you can go ahead and insert your campfire now. Okay. And then let's come in the floors. Uh, I'm using ancient thin floor, but guys, you can use whatever you like. One there. One there. And then one there. I believe I'm going up two, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna put that one in the back. Okay, so it should look like that. And then you come into walls. Uh, actually, I think I put the floor down. I have to double check that. But let's go finish the back side. Let's grab. Let's see, ancient corner. Should be two. Yep. So too high off of that. And then what I'm doing on the inside, if I'm not mistaken, I'm trying to give it like a decorative edge. I think I bump it in one, two, three. All right, guys, I put a couple of fire pits in so we can see. We're in the inside now. We're done with the outside. Uh, you're going to come in the walls. I'm sorry, floors, building parts, floors. You're going to come down to Suji floor number one. Put two of those on each side. And then I believe it's Suji thin floor number two. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to go back into walls. Come now all the way down, umber half walls. And then we're gonna go back and grab, go back in the walls, we're gonna go grab ancient wall again, or ancient uh, corner. And then I'm gonna snap to that, but I'm, but I'm gonna nudge it out like this. So this one actually is gonna go here. Actually, let's put that in. Let's put one on each side. I know that for sure is gonna happen. And then we're gonna snap off of that one. We're gonna nudge it back. Actually, let's nudge it back one more time. And then go one, two, three, four. And then we can take this one out. Okay. And those up there, we can go all the way up one more time. Just snap off of them. Now we're going to snap off of this one again. We're going to nudge it back once. Okay. And then the same thing over here. And then nudge it back once. All right, guys, go back and grab Ancient Corner again. And you're going to snap off this one right here. You see how it's red there? But you're going to nudge it back one. Oh, shoot. There you go. And then go ahead and release it to uh, get it in there. Okay. And then up top, go to Floors. Again, entirely up to you. I think I used... 
ancient thin floor? No, I did not. Because the way it was reflecting, I think I went with wood thin floor and I wanted it white. There you go. But you could put whatever you want. Just mess around with that piece up there. But then that caps that off. Then in here, go to supports. You're going to grab rustic beam number three. Now, usually I turn the, uh, the round side in, but I leave it out this time. Because I come back with going to floors, and then I grab Suji Thin Floor number four, and I put that in front, and that gives you your mantle. Okay? And the uh, fireplace is done, guys. All right, let's finish with the floors really quick. On the floors, I used a uh, wood wide floor number two and center it so you have one full square on each side. You can put a full piece on each side of this. And you can grab wood, wood floor number one. And scroll back up. It's going to be, yeah, put two of those. That is wood floor number three, one on each side. And over here, we go with one of these? Yeah, we can. Put it off just to the sides and you can put one, two. So it's one, let's do this on this side. We'll do it right this way. One, two, the wood floor number one. Then wood floor number three. Then that is wood floor number two. Okay. And over here. No. Nope. We're using this. Yeah, wood floor number two. And number one. Four? No. Yeah. That is a number three. So a number three in front. Number two. And then number one. Okay. And then really quick, back here, guys, I said I was going to show you an alternative. Sun is setting here. And we'll finish up over there at the... Uh, put a camp down really quick, campfire. But you can use ancient corner, because you're going to walls. And then just bump that right up against... Should be able to go all the way across. So it's not sticking out as far if you like more of that traditional look. Again, I was just using that corner piece to be look a little bit different inside, but there's an alternative for you. Really quick, guys. I forgot we, we didn't cap it off over here, so you're going to need some stairs. Okay, then I went with this fit, it was this one, yeah, I went with three of these, and then floors, I hung it over by one square, but it's entirely up to you. This part's up to you guys. We went like that. Like that. Like that. And I think we bumped it out. It doesn't look like it's even, so... 
go with the number, what is that? Number three. Snap to it and then just nudge it in. And I think that's a number two. There we go. That's how I capped it off, guys. All right, I'll meet you back over there. All right, we're back. As far as the outside goes, guys, again, entirely up to you how you want to do this. Put a couple of those those lanterns in front. It's all going to depend on your build, too, guys, as well, as far as how you decorate the outside. And then the inside, this is what I did. See some of the camera. These are the, uh, a narrow, narrow, narrow. Then a square piece at the end. The mantle's on that. And then that's two square Suji floors right there next to each other. And then the uh, stone grinder sitting on that. And then corner pieces. And then a single. And then a narrow to make a make a seat. The fridge if you want in there. The crafting bench. And then these are just the uh, up top. Those are these right here. Suji thin floor number one going right up. Right on top of the uh, window, window sill there. Okay, so I'll leave that up to you guys. Again, there's going to be room for storage up there. Okay, this piece right here, we didn't do that. I can show you this really quick. I put one on each side. Take it out and I'll show you how it looks. Oh, sorry about that. That's uh, supports. Rustic beam number two. Turn it so the round edges are facing. The flat edge, flat edge is out. And then I just bump it in one, so it gives you that lip right there. And then number three, and you should be able to snap right off of that one, okay? And I did the same thing on that side. And there you go, guys. That is the uh, workshop.